Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can use just a little bit of custom code to make your mobile menu visible on the desktop version of your Squarespace website. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below, but in the second half of this video, I'll teach you how to make this mobile menu only take up part of the screen on desktop, because sometimes a full screen menu on a large computer screen isn't exactly the style you're going for. So two codes are listed below. Let's hop into my demo site so we can take them apart and you'll understand what parts you're going to want to change to make it look amazing on your own website. So here we are in my demo site, and I do want to mention this is specific for version 7.1. You can modify this code for different theme families in version 7, but this is a 7.1 tutorial. So here's the code that's in the description beneath the video. I'm going to scroll up so we can see this magic happen. We're going to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where you're going to paste the code. Now, if you already have CSS in here, don't worry about it. Just enter a new line and paste the code there, and you'll see all of my links and my button went away, and now I actually see the link for my mobile menu right here on the desktop version of my site. So this right here is for the first line that says display the burger, or the header burger, if that's what it's called in code here, but display this little menu. Then after that, we said don't show the main navigation or the action buttons. So if you have social media enabled or that button like I had on my site, those will disappear. If we remove this line of code, you'll see that gets pushed right next to the burger and we don't need that. So that removes those two options there. Now after that, we've added a code that makes sure we can actually see the menu when it's open. So if I click on this icon, we'll get the full screen mobile menu on the desktop version of our site. If I remove this code from CSS, if we don't have that, even when the menu's open, we're not going to see anything. We can click it open and click it closed and nothing will be visible. So we've got to have that extra line of code right there. Now this does create a full screen menu. Our mobile menu takes up the whole page, but I've seen a few websites out there that only show the mobile menu on part of the site. So we're going to do that as well. We're actually just going to add a little bit of extra code to this last line right here. We're going to add width 50%, so it'll only take up half of the screen. I'm giving it a margin on the left, so it scoots over to the right hand side of the screen, totally optional. And then I gave it a box shadow just for fun. I'm going to remove that extra curly bracket I accidentally typed. There we go. So let's see what this looks like. Now when we click on it, it's only on the right hand side of the screen and that box shadow makes it stand out from the page. Now you can change the shadow to be any color that you want it to be, maybe like a lighter gray if that's what you're going for, or if you want a teal, something to stand out a little bit more, totally up to you. And again, I set the margin left to 50%, so it's on the same side of the screen as the button to open that menu. If you have your mobile menu on the left-hand side of the screen, you might want to remove this part of the code, totally optional. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and select save because I like this look, and again, these codes are listed in the description below. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Again, both of those codes are listed below, but please get super creative with those custom styles. You can do all kinds of neat things with the box shadow or maybe consider adding a border or something else unique to make it look amazing on your own website. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to learn more about all the cool things you can do with Squarespace because I post a new video every week. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.